candidates vying for New York City mayor now down by one candidate. City Councilman Carlos Menchaca announced today he is suspending his campaign. He thanked his team and supporters. And with less than three months until the Democratic primary, the race is still anyone's game. A new poll shows half of Democratic voters don't even know who their pick is just yet. News 4's Andrew Siff joining us from Long Island City with the endorsements and some hesitation. The pie chart tells the story. Half the Democrats surveyed undecided three months before primary day. Entrepreneur Andrew Yang with a narrow lead over Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, followed by attorney Maya Wiley, controller Scott Stringer, former Citibank executive Ray McGuire, former HUD secretary Sean Donovan, former sanitation commissioner Catherine Garcia, and anti-poverty advocate Diane Morales. We wanted somebody to understood our values. Today in Queens, one of the city's largest unions, DC 37, throwing its support behind Adams. We're going to have, for the first time in over 70 years, a blue-collar mayor that understand blue-collar New Yorkers. At a Greenwich Village rally for workers left behind in the quest for COVID aid, two of the contenders today said they've got time to catch up. In the final 90 days, I think New Yorkers are going to choose the leader that they feel will pull them together and not just create hope, but make hope a reality. I feel very good where we are today because we have the resources to make the case, but we also have the ideas that voters want. They've been chasing Andrew Yang, whose energy and name recognition have jolted the race. On the Republican side, livery driver's advocate Fernando Mateo and guardian angel Curtis Sliwa are the top contenders. The man they're all hoping to replace said voters will soon sharpen their focus. There's three months to go. There's certainly time for that to happen. It will happen inevitably. The remaining contenders all say they have the signatures to get on the ballot and the money to compete, so it could remain a large field for a while. In Queens, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.